Fire fairies come, fire fairies come, and the fire fairies come. The sun peeks through the tall island of trees and glistens through the luscious green colours all around. A still lake. Crickets chirp, birds sing. The lake is home to the teeniest, tinier frogs you ever did see. He was so tiny that he often went unnoticed. But he could jump, oh, so high. Whenever he wanted to say hello, he would jump and croak, which surprised the other creatures who lived on the lake. It made them a little angry. Don't jump out on us like that. Oh, but you didn't see me, and I wanted to say hello. One day, Teeny Tiny Frog ventured away from the lake. He felt sad. He didn't like to get yelled at. Just a few hops towards the trees, he saw a magnificent sunflower. Hmm... I wonder if I can hop as high as that, thought Teeny Tiny Frog. He hopped and he hopped. Then he hopped a little higher. Ouch, he croaked. Bzzz, ouchie, buzzed a bee. Teeny Tiny Frog had jumped so high, he accidentally bonked heads with a bee who had golden stripes. He was mesmerized by her striking colors. The bump on her head caused the bee to buzz around and around. Oh, please don't sting me, said Teeny Tiny Frog. I'm sorry. The bee came to and laughed. I won't sting you, silly. I have never seen a frog jump so high. I was the one not looking. The bee explained how other creatures were afraid to play with her as they thought she might sting them. Oh, I am so sorry, said Teeny Tiny Frog. I feel the same. Others never notice me because I am so tiny. As the bee floated from flower to flower, Teeny Tiny Frog hopped along right next to her. The two were having so much fun together, learning about each other's lives, when they were suddenly interrupted by Big Bunny Thumpalong. Teeny Tiny Frog, where have you been? The creatures of the lake are looking for you. For me? said Teeny Tiny Frog. But how? No one ever notices me. How did they know I was not there? Big Bunny Thumpalong only replied, Hurry back to the lake, quickly. Bee told Teeny Tiny Frog that she would go with him. As soon as they had returned, they were greeted by creatures big and small. There they are, said a bird. Where were you, asked a dragonfly. He has brought a bee with him, exclaimed a duck. Ah, screamed a worm. Teeny Tiny Frog was overjoyed to hear everyone's concern for him. Although he was disappointed in their reaction to his new friend, Bee. How did you all know I was not at the lake, asked Teeny Tiny Frog. Then he said, This is my new friend Bee. She does not sting. She likes to fly next to me as I hop. Oh, teeny tiny frog, I love to sit on a branch in the island of trees and watch how you leap, exclaimed a beautiful bluebird. Teeny tiny frog, I poke my head up from the earth just to watch you leap, added a little worm. Then why do you never say hello? Because I am a bird. Because I am a worm. Each creature echoed the same excuse. Bee flew down 
and she kissed Teeny Tiny Frog on his forehead. All the creatures gasped. <gasps> I never knew a frog and a bee could be friends. In fact, none of them had ever thought to befriend a bee or any other creature not of their kind for that matter. From that day on, however, the creatures made a point of getting to know one another. Never ever again did Teeny Tiny Frog go unnoticed. Fire fairies burning bright, thank you for your golden light. Good night. Snip, snap, snout, my tail is all told out. Hello friends, I hope that you enjoyed this puppet show. This was inspired from a story that I wrote and made into a book. And you can buy it today on Amazon. Check out my link below and don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.